A dummy, she shrieked. Linda held it up. A ventriloquist dummy, she said. Someone threw him out. Do you believe it? He's in perfect shape. Linda held the dummy up and examined his back, looking for the string to pull to make his mouth move. I am a real kid, Linda made him say. She was speaking in a high-pitched voice through her gritted teeth, trying not to move her lips. Dumb, Chris said, rolling her eyes. I am not dumb. You're dumb, Linda made a dummy say in a high, squeaky voice. When she pulled the string in his back, the wooden lips moved up and down, clicking as they moved. She moved her hand up his back and found the control to make his painted eyes shift from side to side. He's probably filled with bugs, Chris said, making a disgusted face. Throw him back, Linda. No way, Linda insisted, rubbing her hand tenderly over the dummy's wooden hair. I'm keeping her. She's keeping me, she made the dummy say. My name is Slappy. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to Bookworm's Goosebumps Retrospective. Today, he's coming to get you. With number seven, Night of the Living Dummy. Twin sisters Linda and Chris Powell find a dummy in the dumpster next door. Linda takes an interest in it and takes him home and calls him Slappy. She starts to gain popularity with Slappy, which makes Chris jealous. Her father then surprises her with her own dummy she names Mr. Wood. But then she begins to see weird things and accidents happening around the house, with the dummies always on the scene. Could they be alive? We have a true legend here. Of all the Goosebumps books, this one character here, Slappy, would become the face of the franchise. His happy, sinister face that will give kids nightmares. And yet, more alive than that kid from Let's Get Invisible, he walks. He stalks. He's not the main focus of the book. It is. Yet it isn't. Slappy is a part of the plot, but he pulls a Friday the 13th twist on us that makes it more interesting when the real villain of the book is revealed. What about the book? Is it good? Yeah, really good. Chris and Linda are great characters with the whole sibling rivalry between each other's dummies. But when scary things happen, it really makes you feel uncomfortable just being near them. And for a while, you are not sure if it's the dummies. Yeah, it would be cheap if Stein didn't with the title Night of the Living Dummy. But who said it couldn't have been a mind game with the girls? I think I speak for a lot of people when I say, Dummies are scary! Several have said this is a lot like Chucky from Child's Play, but have you ever seen a dummy in person? They are creepy! No wonder R.L. Stein used them. The book also has one of the best climaxes of the series, featuring two girls, a dummy, and a dog. It doesn't go over the top as you might think, but it really puts you on the edge of your seat. There really isn't anything negative to say about it. Nothing drags, and the pace flows perfectly. This is a true Goosebumps masterpiece. What about you, Internet? What's your opinion? Until next time, have a scary day.